everyone and welcome back to Ashley's Lullaby Nursery. I am Ashley and in today's video I have my little AJ. This is Arlo James and he is the twin aspen asleep, the real born twin aspen asleep by Bountiful Baby. And the reason why he's on camera is because I have decided to put him up for adoption. This was not an easy decision. Um, but he's one of those babies who just haven't been getting the attention he deserves, especially for his artwork. And this baby is by far the most detailed baby in my entire Reborn collection. He is supposed to resemble a freshly born baby, so he has some dry skin effect on his hands and his feet. Um, he has some baby acne on his forehead. He has milk bumps on his nose. Um, he's just a very realistic baby from head to toe. Um, and he was a custom baby made for me but I didn't get to pick the kit, I didn't get to pick the hair, I didn't get to pick the skin tone, gender, nothing like that because he is a womb baby and what that is is they are babies made by an artist who has become a very good friend of mine and what she does is she makes the baby first and then she puts them inside of these um, clear balloons to look like a womb and then she makes the umbilical cord out of you know whatever sh supplies she has and when it's all said and done you guys it is such a beautiful experience to open the box and to birth your baby your reborn baby so I I was ecstatic for when he arrived. I have a video uploaded on my channel of his box opening. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and check it out. Um, this was the beginning of this year. So it's a few videos back. I still don't know how to um, uh, like pin other videos on like the video I'm making right now so that it's easier for you to find that video. I'm sorry, but once I figure out how to do that, then I will start doing it in my future videos. But if you really want to see the video of his box opening, you'll have to go and do some digging in my in my videos, and you'll see it in the title. It says, Womb Baby Box Opening, so you cannot miss it. Um, but back to what I was saying. So I've decided to put him up for adoption because, like I said, he does not get the attention he deserves. Um, so I want someone to enjoy him enjoy his art. I want him, I want someone to enjoy this this baby altogether. He's a beautiful, beautiful work of art. Like I said, especially when it comes to his details, he is the most detailed baby in my in my collection. No doubt about it. None of my other babies have dry skin effect on their hands or anything like that. Like it's the, he is by far the most realistic baby in my collection. So yeah, it's, it's a hard decision, but it's the right decision, and sometimes in life we have to make hard decisions, um, and sometimes they're for the best, and I know this is for the best, so yeah, he's, he's up for adoption. I'm going to grab his belongings so you guys can see what he's going to go home with. Okay, so I'm going to explain everything. First, I'll just show his clothing and then we'll go on to everything else. Okay, so with the blanket he's laying on, it comes with this matching bib. So it's like a cloud, thunder, uh, rainstorm theme kind of uh, blanket and bib set. He's definitely gonna go home with this sleeper he's wearing. It's a very soft, uh, it's like a fleece kind of material sleeper with gray and white stripes and it has a tiger face in the middle of the chest. 
I believe this is by Carter's pre. Let me just check real quick. Yes, it's Child of Mine, and it is creamy. So he does run on the smaller side of clothing. This is his passy. It's a little elephant with blue hearts. So we run on with that as well. And his little doggy lovey. And it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> so he'll be going on with that. Okay. Along with two pairs of socks. They're both the same, just different color. They're, one's blue, one's like a beige or a tan color. Okay, and then we have this black and white striped onesie. It has, it says, uh, sorry, it has an elephant with a turtle and an elephant saying hello. And this is also by Child of Mine. It's creamy. Okay, then I have, then he has this gray onesie and it says daddy's little one and it has again a little elephant and a turtle okay and then there's this onesie it's white and it has black outlined um looks like safari animals to me there's a rhino a lion giraffe turtles okay along with these black and white striped pants. These are all a set, so they're all by Child of Mine Creamy. Okay, then I'm gonna send him with this adorable long sleeve dinosaur onesie. It's like a charcoal gray, and then it has like a nice, um, like gray blue print of dinosaurs and trees and leaves all over it. This is also by Carter's and it's creamy size. Right. And then he has this blue sleeper with a polar bear on the one side and it says hello. The sleeves are blue and white stripes and then it has white paw prints scattered throughout the onesie, or sorry, sleeper. And this one is by Wonder Nation, also creamy. And it's also a zipper sleeper. Okay, so there's his clothing. There's a bag. Over here. Okay. And then I have for him, along with the one he's wearing, four newborn Huggies diapers. Um, and because he he's supposed to represent a freshly born baby um he came home with his little hospital hat and this hospital blanket that is double the size of the ones we get from um online i think it's through mcpherson's like this is an actual hospital blanket that came with him so there's that okay and then over here i have some of his personalized items that I wanted to keep all together and not mix it with the other baby's things. So when he came home to me, he came home with a C-section kit because obviously you have to birth your baby and his artist wants, wants it to be an enjoyable experience for the new parent. So she sends a C-section kit with a mask, a pair of gloves, and uh, an umbilical cord clamp. Um, and then obviously the scissors you have to provide yourself. But um, as I open it, I'll explain how it works. So, okay, I'll show his little personalized goodies in a second. Let me just show his womb first and everything. So obviously before I cut his womb, oh, the clamp fell off. So this was actually on here. Let me put it back. It was just a fun experience, you know? It, like, I was so excited for him, you guys. You don't even know. Okay, for some reason I won't clamp anymore, but before I cut his umbilical cord, I had to clamp it. Here's the clamp and the part that I cut. Okay. And then here is his womb. So as you can see, she marked it with an X. And he was inside of this. And I had to cut it open to birth him. And you guys, let me tell you, that was such 
such an emotional experience for me. Um, I felt like I was literally birthing a real baby. It was so much fun. I love how his artist has come up with such a creative, fun way for people to open their babies. You know, it's, it's incredible. I'm just in awe. It was so fun. I, I, I would do it again in the future for sure. So, along with his womb <laughs> that he came in, she also sent a baby bottle with him. And this is a sealed nipple, so you can fill it with fake milk and not worry about it leaking. There's his bottle. He also came with a little organza bag filled with baby toys, a little bracelet to make everything more fun and exciting. And then in here, he has his hospital bracelet um, and a necklace that she makes for all of her babies. A little personal touch. Okay, so there's all of that, and then I have his paperwork to show you. So she, his artist sends a envelope with the gender reveal, and you have to open this after you open your baby. So when I opened this, I had no idea what the gender was yet because before you open the clothing and everything else, you have to open the baby first. And then you do your gender reveal, and then you do um, all the clothing and accessories. So right when I opened him, I didn't even know what he was yet. But something was telling me he was a boy. I just had a feeling he was a boy. So, after you open your baby, you open this, and you pull out the paper that says the gender. And it says it's a boy. There's that. And then he also comes with instructions. This is how to open him. I'm still going to send it because this is everything that came with him. And I want him to go with everything. So I'm going to send every piece of paperwork that he came with. This is all a part of the experience, right? Even though he's already opened out of his room, but still. And then she has a new baby care sheet and it's printed so you can read it there's, yeah there shouldn't be any complications with reading it it's a care sheet for him and then she makes i didn't fill it out but she makes birth certificates for the babies as well for the mommy or daddy to fill fill out and then here is his coa so he is an authentic, real-born baby by Bountiful Baby. And the artist did fill out his information here of the day he was born in her, in her nursery, when she finished making him, the time, his weight, his length, her name, her nursery name. So all the information you need of the artist is on his COA. All right. I'm gonna put everything back in here. I'm going to bring him up close to the camera so you guys can see some of his details. I'm not going to take his clothing off. Um, I'm just going to show you the dry skin that he has on his hands and whatever else I can show. But <clears throat> I, um, I will be posting him on Reborns.com so that you guys can see his details better there. And plus, in the videos I have of him um, that I uploaded in the past, you can see his details in those videos as well. Okay, so you can kind of see. Oh, he's so adorable. He's a cute baby. <laughs> okay. And I, I did reweigh him, so he does have a little bit more weighting in him. Um, he, uh, oh my gosh, I should have brought a brush up for his hair. So he does have more weighting. He's a little heavier, but look at how cute he is. I love his rooted hair. It's a nice... Um, like orangey brown. It's very nice. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see the pimples on his forehead, but he has baby acne. A couple of them on his forehead. And he has some milk bumps on his nose. He has a scratch on his cheek right here. 
let me show the dry skin because of all these details, this is my favorite. So you can see right here, that white and then that little darkness right there, that's some of his dry skin. And then also on this hand. Like I said, he has it on both of his hands and both of his feet. Hold on, let me come a little closer. Okay. So there's the other dry skin effect of his hand here. You can see that. Like he's just such a realistic baby. Oh my god. And he has a sculpted soft spot. You can see that indent right here. That's his his little soft spot. So he, he does have that realistic flop as well. See? Little head flop. Flop. <laughs> He's a sweet baby. He is. But like I said with the other babies I've sold, it's that time, you know, it's time he makes another mommy happy. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's a cutie. But like I said, he's going to be listed on reborns.com. So if anybody is interested, you know where to buy him. Um, I am selling him for what I bought him for. So that will be listed on the advertisement, of course. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hope someone falls in love with this face. He's so precious. He does run on the like petite side, like he's very slim. Um, his limbs are very long and spaghetti-ish. Like he's a long baby, but he's very still like petite when it comes to his overall body size. Um, he does wear better, or he does fit better into creamy clothing. So, yeah, you guys, it's another baby ready for a new adventure. And I know he can make somebody else happy. He's made me happy since I've brought him into my nursery. But like I said in the beginning of my video, he doesn't get the attention he deserves. So I want someone else to appreciate this artwork. I want somebody else to appreciate the snuggles because he is super cuddly and he feels like a real baby when you hold him. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested, comment below. Um, you can message me on my Instagram or you can just message me right on the website. So yeah, I think that's, that's everything I wanted to say about the sweet baby. So hopefully he could be a Christmas baby for somebody this year or a baby for the new year. Oh, look at how cute he is. So yeah. <clears throat> If you're interested, let me know. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Share with your friends. Um, for my faithful watchers, thank you for coming by once again. I love and appreciate you very much. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. So, this little man will be waiting for his new mommy or daddy. I will be posting him today on Reborns.com. So, if you're interested, let me know. I hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, share. And until next time, everybody, take care and stay safe. Bye.